Here's the thing. You get something you really want. What's the first thing you find? Manuals. Pages of manuals. Or even CD-ROMs full of instructions. But you don't want to read. You want to play. You want to play now. You'll figure out the really important bits as you go along. So what do you do? You have a go. <laughs> hmm. Let's try a safer example. How about a blender? Yeah, a blender. Who wants a smoothie? What could be easier? You put some fruit in the top, you hold the lid down, you press the button. Who needs manuals, instruction books and dialogue boxes? Okay, how about this then? A new iPod! It's ready to go straight out of the box. Throw away that instruction CD, just plug this baby in and let the fun begin. Oops. We could save ourselves a lot of pain and time if we read the manual. Not just the one for your household appliances, but for ourselves as well. What, you didn't know the human body comes with a maker's instruction book? No, really, it goes like this. God made the universe, the earth, all that stuff. The last thing he made was people. That was the ultimate creation. He watched us throw out the original manual and try to blunder through without it. Some things were obvious, like avoid prolonged exposure to extremes of cold or heat. And try to avoid sharp pointy objects wherever possible. But eventually, he provided his manufacturer's top 10 rules for getting the most out of being a human being. Let's start from the bottom. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife or his manservant or maidservant, his ox or donkey or anything that belongs to your neighbor. Or putting it another way, no lusting after your neighbor's house, or wife, or servant, or maid, or ox, or donkey. Don't set your heart on anything that is your neighbor's. God's 10-step manual isn't so much a list of don'ts. Don't do this, don't do that. It's more like 10 won'ts. Here's what I mean. If you're living a satisfied life, then you won't cover. You won't be jealous of other people's looks. You won't be jealous of other people's success. You won't lust after other people's relationships. You won't get obsessed with having the latest thing. Because you know it will get replaced in a month by the new latest thing. Does that sound like how you live your life? It doesn't sound much like mine either. Here's what we have to do. We have to learn to be satisfied with what we've got. And the best way to start is to read the manual. Cause I want the one I can.